Good morning students. We are studying Unit 2 Friendship of English and in that we completed a sweet poem The Arrow and the Song. After that in, the, in this unit we have a story Grandpa's Friend. Let's start with the story. Mom, I'm home. John slammed the door and dropped his books on a nearby chair. Something smells good. With his nose in the air, he followed the sweet aroma into the kitchen. So John is the character, the child. He comes home and slams the door. Slamming the door means to close with force and dropped his books on a nearby chair. Just like you guys when you come home from school and you throw your bag. Or are you a good child and you don't throw it but keep it at its proper place. So that's what John did and then he said that something smells good. Whenever your mother is making something, you can feel that smell coming. So that sweet aroma was coming. Aroma means a fragrance, a smell. It was coming and with his nose in the air, he followed the sweet aroma into the kitchen because that smell was coming from the kitchen. Hi John, home already? His mom turned around. She had just placed a plate of fresh baked cookies on the counter near the open window. So, like a sweet mother, she just asked, like, home already? We know, are beta, aage ghar. And then his mother turned around. What was she doing? She just placed a plate of fresh baked cookies. You know what are cookies. So, that was the thing which had that sweet aroma and she placed it on the counter near the open window. John reached for a cookie and looked outside. It was the kind of day that made John feel warm inside. Pop Pop, John's grandpa who lived with them since grandma had died came through the door. So the Cookie was placed near the open window, so John reached for it and from the window, through the window, he looked outside. It was the kind of day that made John feel warm inside. Warm, we normally use it for uh, telling the temperature, like it's moderate amount of heat. But when we are expressing feelings, when we are feeling warm, it means a good, pleasant or friendly feeling. The way we say uh, a warm welcome, okay? So, John was feeling warm inside because it was that kind of day. Pop Pop, John's grandpa, who lived with them since grandma had died, came through the door. His grandfather came through the door. Spring is here, Pop Pop said. And you know what this means? Sure, John agreed. Our annual fishing trip is coming up. So, why was John feeling warm inside? Because it was spring. And Pop Pop said that while he came inside. And then he said, like, you remember what this means. You know what this means, right? So, spring was the annual tradition of going for a fishing trip. Amused? Pop-up winked at John while heading straight for the cookies. Amused means he was delighted. So he got happy and winked at John. You know what is winking? While heading straight for the cookies. Even he went to grab a cookie. I was thinking more of our annual spring cleaning. John's mom suggested. Tomorrow, John, you have no school and I can expect some help, okay? So... Spring cleaning is also uh, a tradition there and so John's mom suggested that I was thinking more of our annual spring cleaning. Tomorrow John was not having any school so she said that I can expect some help, okay? Okay, okay. John agreed unwillingly. So instead of going for a fishing trip, John agreed to help his mom in cleaning the home. The next day, John and his mom cleaned the house. They cleaned upstairs, 
inside, outside, until everything was spotless. Tired, they sank into the couch. Pointing to Pop-Up's chair, John's mom exclaimed, Oh, that old chair has got to go. We'll buy Pop-Up a new one. So, as agreed, they cleaned the house the next day. They cleaned upstairs, inside, outside, until everything was spotless. Spotless means it was tidy, neat and clean. There was no dirt anywhere. Quite a good boy, don't you think? Do you ever help your mom in cleaning? Tired, they sank into the couch. Sinking into the couch means you know what you do. Sink literally means to drown. But when you sink into the sofa, sank into the sofa or couch, like you just try to get absorbed in there. And then as they tired, they sank into the couch and pointing to Pop-Up's chair, John's mom exclaimed, Oh, that old chair has got to go. When everything is clean, neat and tidy and you see a piece of furniture which is quite old or rusted or torn it seems like it does not belong here so same way john's mom also said that that old chair has got to go we'll buy pop up a new one so instead of instead of the old one we'll replace the old one with a new one it was true john had to agree the chair was unsightly it was faded and worn and in some places even torn. So why did John agree that chair does, did not belong there? Because it was unsightly. Sightly means to the eyes. So it didn't feel good to the eyes. It was ugly. It was faded. Faded means you are wearing faded jeans. So you must be knowing that it is lighter in color compared to the other portion so it was faded and worn worn means uh, damaged because of too much use so it was faded and worn and in some places even torn john come and help me we'll take the chair to the footpath tomorrow the garbage truck is going to come so john's mom calls him like help me to take the chair to the footpath next day the garbage truck will be coming so it will take it with it as they attempted to move the chair pop-up walked his way through the door seeing what was happening he quickly blocked their way oh no he objected you can't take my chair just when they were doing this pop-up walked in through the door Seeing what was happening, he quickly blocked their way. Pop-up entered the room and he saw that uh, John and his mother are trying to remove the chair. They are trying to get rid of the chair. And immediately he blocked their way. To block way means to stop them. And he objected. To object means to oppose. So he opposed them and told that you can't take my chair. It's old. It's worn. John's mom argued with a sharp edge to her voice. No, Pop-Up insisted, trying to push his chair back into place. So, when Pop-Up blocked their way and he objected, John's mom tried to um, say that justify why it shall not be kept there. It's old and it's worn. She argued with a sharp edge to her voice. She was not screaming, but there was some... You can see like when someone is not being too polite. Or just say when someone is not being polite and there is some sharp edge. With some strictness, she told that it's old and it's worn. But Pop-Up insisted. Insisted means he said forcefully no. And he tried to push his chair back into its place but pop will buy you a new one john's mom tried to convince the man to convince someone means to try to argue and make them agree to you what you are trying to say so she said that 
let this old one go will buy you a new one i don't want a new one pop ups voice trembled trembled means it shaked so i give up john's mom let go of the chair we'll discuss it tonight when matt gets home matt john's dad was still at work with a sigh of relief the old man sank into his chair and closed his eyes so after the argument when pop up did not agree john's mom said that i give up and then she told that we'll discuss it tonight when matt gets home matt who is john's dad pop up's son and john's mom's husband so just like uh, that uh, when she couldn't convince pop up she said that we'll discuss it tonight when matt gets home for that time that argument was over and so with a sigh of relief sigh of relief means that the long deep breath uh, when tension gets over like we got rid of this problem and so the old man sank into his chair and closed his eyes pop up why you won't let us get rid of the chair john asked when his mother left the room it's so old john who was just seeing the argument between pop up and his mom when his mother left the room he just asked politely quietly to his grandfather why you won't let us get rid of the chair why do you want to keep it tum why don't you allow us to just discard it it's so old that's the story till now in this story we studied certain new names so in today's homework you have to write these meanings first meaning slammed it means closed with force second aroma it means sweet fragrance third amused it means delighted fourth spotless which means without any dirt fifth unsightly it means ugly sixth objected it means opposed or disagreed seventh insisted it means said forcefully eighth convince it means satisfy by argument ninth sigh of relief it means a long deep breath when tension is over that's all for today in your homework go through the story till now once again and write these meanings in your rough book just once we'll continue with the story and certain questions in the next class